for Nigeria? My word for Nigerians today is that uh, this is the moment, this is the season, this is the year we have been waiting for. It's full of milk and honey. This is a year that God has promised to turn around this nation for good. I want those that are feeling that all hopes are lost to know that there is going to be a wonderful testimony. I see wonderful turnaround in this nation. And I want to tell our leaders, this is the time to hit the ground running. This is the time that God has destined that this nation will be great. All hands must be on deck, both the leaders and the led. Make sure that all the promises that God has released upon this nation called Nigeria will be materialized because God cannot do what we can do. I see a better Nigeria in this 2016. I see a Nigeria of a diversified economy. I see a Nigeria of greatness. And I see a united Nigeria in this year. And I believe and pray that God will make all our leaders to realize the purpose of God for this nation. For no section of this country should be marginalized. All that are agitating for one thing or the other should be called for a round table. Nobody should be above the law. Every leader must be obedient to the laws of the nation. And also the led must also be obedient to the governing authorities. And I'm praying and I'm seeing better Nigeria. I see wonderful things God be releasing in this nation in this 2016. Shalom to all Nigerians, both home and abroad. God is about doing a new thing. Put on your dancing shoe, wherever you are. And I say to you again, put on your dancing shoe. I hear the sound of abundant rain in this nation. God bless you. Okay, so, uh, to add to this, the youth, most of the unemployed, yes. and they are wondering how will the government be able to uh, secure them job in this year 2016. So what do you want them to do to revive in this uh, cute of uh, agenda? Yes, I want all the youth out there, make sure you turn yourself to becoming an employer of labor. Don't wait for the white collar jobs. Begin to create jobs out there. God is going to help you with the strength of God by your side. Forget about your, your, your acquired certificates you have gotten. I'm adjuring all the youth out there. Become an employer of labor by making sure you are a creative thinker, by making sure you become very innovative and also very inventive. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it very, very well and become a professional in your field. Don't just wait for the government to come. Yes, it is the uh, statutory responsibility of the government to provide jobs for the citizens, but also at the same time, all the youth, make sure you are very, very industrious and make sure you are creative on your own. Become an employer of labor. Fear the Lord and keep away from evil. This is the year you have been praying about. This is the year you have been waiting for. You shall be announced by the grace of God as you are seen diligent in doing what God has committed in your trust. The Bible says in the book of Revela uh, uh, Matthew, uh, sorry, Proverbs chapter number 22, verse 29, Seest thou a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings and not mean men. So all the youths, be up and doing, make sure that whatever you are doing to the glory of God, don't allow yourself to be used as a youth talk or a political talk is not going to end you well and it's not going to be better for your future if you indulge in that remember some of these people they will use you and dump you for their own only selfish aggrandizements their children are not there to face what you are going to face but you must make sure and you know that your destiny is in your hand take up the responsibility of bringing out something better out of your life leave a, leave a legacy so that at the end of this year 2016 you will look back and count your blessings and name them one by one okay so for those that are christians they break you see some of them they go visiting and some others they are drinking so what is your advice for this christian to do at this period all christians out there even non-christians promiscuity is not a way of life Promiscuity can only destroy your destiny and star. Promiscuity can only ponder you or plunge you into destruction. You must keep away from any social vice. You must keep away from political talk. You must keep away from any social ill, from arm robbery. You must keep away also from ritualism. You must keep away from also bombing. 
You must keep away from also nepotism. You must use your life judiciously to the glory of God. Make sure, as I, as I said before, that your life or you are not used as a political talk. I see the Lord bless you as a youth. And also as a Christian out there, make sure that whatever you do in this festive period or in this new year, everything to the glory of God should be done in moderation. Remember that when you walk in moderation and with contentment of the little God has given to you, you are going to become a wonder to your world. Don't be misled by any form of competition. God will stand by your side as you represent God wherever you are. And I see you reigning with Jesus. I see you coming up as a wonderful force, a juggernaut that God will use to turn around this nation. When you remain stable, when you remain faithful, when you remain cautious, when you remain disciplined to your goal, the sky is going to be your limit. Compete with no one and be contented with that you have. In this 2016, I see you coming out better than you did in 2015. And I see God lift you from where you have been to somewhere very greater than where you have been. God bless you all Christians out there and non-Christians. The only way to live a good life is to fear God and desist yourself from evil. And the Lord will be blessing you real good in this wonderful year. And I wish you all the best and I see greater harvest coming. God bless all Nigerians and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria and all the leaders. Thank you very much, sir. Bless you. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you.